What's up guys? Today I got a brand new video that's super cool that you are going to want to watch because this is the new Matco wireless charging system. This thing is super awesome. They have a single, they have a double, and three different lights to choose from. And I'm going to show you how it works and how it can make your life a whole lot easier. So you guys stay tuned because this one is pretty cool. <laughs> guys like i mentioned in the intro today we're going to be taking a look at the matco tools new wireless charging system i'm going to be showing you the differences in the chargers as well as the difference in the lights and we'll show you how all it works it's a really cool system wireless charging is a brand new technology and honestly it makes your life a whole lot simpler if you install these on your box you simply put your lights on it when you're not using them and they're always charged fantastic right no more cords to fumble with no more USB, the micro USB that if you push it the wrong way, it pushes the charging port up in the hole. It don't work. It just, these things are a life changer. I really like it. Um, I'm a huge fan of wireless charging and I'll show you why. So first of all, let's take a look at some of these products. I'll give you the part numbers and explain to you the differences in them. And that way you can kind of choose which style fits your needs the best. Like I said, they do have two different chargers. They have a single and they have a double. I'll show you these in a minute and we'll cover the part numbers. In this line, they also have three different lights. They have your standard flashlight. I'll go over these in just a minute and we'll show you the differences in all three lights as well as the part numbers and the functions and features of each one. But they have the standard regular flashlight that we all have used for years. They have the floodlight style. Like I say, I'll go into the details of these later on in the video. And they have the headlamp style. Three super cool lights that'll pretty much fit any of your needs that you may want. So now let's take a up close look at each one of these how they work as well as a close look at the chargers. So let's turn this around that way I have a good sturdy magnetic base and let's do it. All right guys, as I mentioned before, the heartbeat of this system is no doubt the wireless charging pads. Like I say, they have the dual charger pad, which is here. The port number is PCSMRTCD. And you can see the way it works. Um, it has a USB-C style plug on the bottom, which is always great. And it has two wireless charging ports, as you can see by the little puck here. And on the back, it has three magnets to keep it secured, so you don't have to drill it into your box. Although they do give you provided screw holes in case you want to put it you know, on a wooden wall or wooden bark bench or aluminum surface, whatever you want to install it on, they provide you that access. In the packaging, it comes with a USB cord and the power adapter to plug it in the wall. When you plug it in, you can see the lights turn green and you simply set it against whatever magnetic surface you want and it's fully ready to work at this point. It does have the phone charger that's built in here or I should say the phone holder, and you simply pull that out and you can install your phone in it. And when you pull it out, it has a rubber coating on the inside to prevent damage from your phone. It'll securely hold, hold it. It's spring loaded as you see. So let me show you how that works. All right, so this is the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max. You simply pull this out. Stick your phone down in it. As you see, it lit up, so it is charging. Now my phone does have an OtterBox case on it, so it makes it a little bit tighter to go in there, but it will fit just fine. As you see, you simply pull it back and you can pull your phone out and you're good to go. Now without the phone case on there, it'll drop right in 
no issues. But most guys do use it with a phone case, so just keep that in mind. If you do have a phone case on it, you may have to kind of push it down in there a little bit, and it's good to go. Or if you don't want to hang it on your wall, it'll work flat, and you can just lay your phone on it. And there you go. It has started charging. I felt it wiggle. So that's something, <clears throat> you know, that's going to come in super handy is the ability to charge your phones, um, your lights, and all that on the pads. I really am a huge fan of the wireless charging systems. And if you're not interested in the dual charger, they also have the single charger, as you see here. Same way, it's got two magnets on the back. You pull it out and install your phone. USB-C charger is on the bottom. And it simply magnets to the box, exactly like the double charger. This part number is P. C S M R T C S. I'll put all the, the uh, product numbers, part numbers on the bottom, but this will work the same way. You can lay it flat, charge your phone on it, magnetic on the side of your box, open it up, charge your lights, your phones, whatever. It's really cool design. Like I say, this is the single, that is the double. You can see the difference. All right, so now let's take a look at the lights because obviously we all use lights in the shop. Lights are a big thing. To me, lights almost as important as the tools you need to get the job done. You gotta see, right? So we'll start out with my personal favorite and that is the floodlight that they have. Right here's what it looks like. You can see it simply magnets on there and the red light indicates it's charging. <clears throat> this part number is PC. F L O O D, which is PC flood, as you can see here. All right, this is a super cool little light. Um, it does have the magnetic base on the bottom, as you can see, it's super strong. It does rotate around, so you can use it at pretty much any angle you want. It's got different brightness settings as well as different functions between flood and spot which is super cool it has um, 720 lumens on the floodlight style which that is the brightest that it has it also has a 250 lumen spotlight as you can see how tight the beam pattern is on it three different settings like I say that's going to be low, medium, and high. One more clicks off. Really cool light. It's supposed to give you three and a half to four and a half hours of runtime on it. Really small design. Wireless charger. Like I say, that part number is PC Fluid. All right, as I showed you in the beginning, they have the regular flashlight style. Now, this one's a little bit different. The actual on and off is back here. And it, has, it does have the USB-C charging port as well as this light does down here on the bottom. That way if you don't have your wireless charger, you're out in a vehicle and you need to charge these, you can plug them up and charge them like a conventional light. But this one's a little bit different. All the wireless charging stuff's on this side is indicated by the symbols and the little magnet. But on the bottom is the on and off switch. And then this button here is what controls the functions. So that's on high, low, medium, back to high. And like I say, it'll just continue low, medium, and high throughout that. And you have to turn it off back here. And the way this works, you simply turn it this way and boom, it attaches magnetically and it charges and life is grand. No more dead batteries. Now this port number right here, is PCFLASH. And this light is supposed to produce 1100 lumens of light, which is pretty doggone impressive from something that small, super lightweight. I like the way it grips in your hand. It's a really nice flashlight and the wireless function. Wireless charging function is totally awesome. Like I say, if you will put this on the side of your roll cart or the side of your box or your workbench, anything close to where you're working on, when you're not using your light, simply throw it on there when you take a break, run to the bathroom, wash your hands, go get parts, whatever. If you're not using a light, for it to light and you'll put it on the charger, 
You can go all day with no dead batteries, which is amazing. Another thing that's really cool about this light, as you can see, it does have the battery indicator here. So let me turn it on low and that way it don't blind. The camera is bad. But you can see it's got a battery indicator. That way you're not stranded in the dark if your battery does go dead because we've all been there and it sucks super bad. It's nice to be able to know how much level you got left. So that's the regular flashlight style. So we'll take a, take a look at the last and third light of the collection that they have so far. And that is the headlamp. All right, so here's the last of the lights that they have so far in the collection. It's the third one. As you can see, it's got the gripper that's built into the headband. Foam piece here that goes against your forehead. It tilts down. It also has the plug on the bottom so you can plug it up with the cord if you don't have your wireless charger handy. And this portion is actually what connects it to the wireless charging pad as indicated by the symbol and the magnet there. This port number is PCHDLMP. And it's a pretty cool light. All right, so this is a super simple design. One button turns it on. It comes on as the spotlight function. One more click is the floodlight on low, and there it is on high. So it's only got three clicks to turn it on. Floodlight, or spotlight, floodlight, low, floodlight, high. Really nice light. It's supposed to provide 400 lumens of output. So that should do really well, especially using it for a headlamp style. To charge it, you simply, bam, stick it on there. The two magnet logos or icons line up and it starts charging. Like I say, with the dual charger, obviously you can charge two things at one time. And obviously guys, with the single charger, you can only charge one thing at a time. This one's not plugged up, that's why it's not charging. But you get the point. Dual charger, single charger. Matco Tools has done a fantastic job coming out with these wireless charging lights. I like the fact you can charge your phone. I like the fact that you can use it flat or put it up on the side of your box and use it in a vertical position. Really cool deals. I like them a lot. I'm a huge fan of wireless chargers because I hate when my batteries run dead. And honestly, it's easier to toss them on there than have to fiddle with the plugs and all the mess of cords that looks like a bowl of spaghetti in your box. A little cleaner, a little neater, neater and a little nicer. But anyway, guys, that's my look today at the wireless charging system by Matco Tools and the three lights that they currently offer. Two charging platforms, wired or wireless, whichever you choose, all in one. Like always, guys, check with your Matco dealer or Matco Tools online to get one of these if you're interested because they are awesome. That's my video today, guys. Hopefully you like it. If you do, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. It never costs you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.